How's it going everybody? I'm going to come back at you with another Dragon Ball video. And this time I'll be actually talk, uh, talking about Yamcha and how awesome he truly is. But I, I don't want to actually do it alone, so I end up having a really good friend here, um, Premier, and I got, he's actually going to help me like talk about Yamcha. Say hello, Premier. Hello, beautiful friends from around the world. Excuse the black and fist quote, but I just want to say, ladies and gentlemen, or to any Dragon Ball fans out there, it's Wolf Fang Fist time. Oh yeah. Yamcha. Oh yeah. Yamcha is an incredible warrior, man. I, I'm telling you. And this time we'll actually be talking about. You, you want to start it off for us? Yeah. So basically, you know, I'll be giving you guys a more detailed, more raw, um description regarding how awesome of a character Yamcha truly is and how strong and just sheer you know how sheer awesome he is oh um, yeah it's gonna be exciting it's gonna be fun <laughs> so um I guess my first point will be to start off with this um, yeah. okay, so, um, a lot of Dragon Ball fans, you know, if you started with DBZ, it's more likely that you've been attracted towards Goku and Vegeta, but if you started off with Dragon Ball, you will be attracted to characters like Tien and Krillin, and of course appear way before them Yamcha so we all know the story you know about Yamcha he started off as a desert bandit you know robbing stealing to survive he wasn't a martial artist he was just a lone wolf in the desert who had to fight and protect himself and you know Basically, he just started off as this, like, self-taught fighter who learned the ways of the wolf. I know we haven't gotten into, like, a, you know, like, where did he come from, or his parents, or something like that. I don't know. But a lone wolf surviving in the desert, coming up with his own fighting style. And See, like that that's the thing I actually like about him, is just that when it comes to Yamcha, he actually comes up with his own fighting style. You know, he didn't actually get uh, trained by other people in like a certain art. You know, like I would say this, like the first time that we actually do actually see of Yamcha, he ends up putting it to Goku. You know, like, I know they said that Goku was like hungry and everything. But still, man, he, he, um, Amcha is actually one of the most, like, has the most, like, fastest hands in Dragon Ball, period. Yes. And see, what people fail to realize is that they need to think about it. Like, yes, I understand that Goku back then was a kid, but... We're talking Goku's very first real fight. We're talking his very first real rival. And no matter how you look at it, Goku lost. Period. Yeah, he did. By a non... Oh, I was going to say by a non-martial artist. Yamcha, no martial artist. Just a bandit. His own fighting style. Roga Fufu Ken, Japanese for the Wolf Fang Fist. That was the finishing slash signature maneuver. And it's like, people just fail to see that. Vegeta was not the first. There's no Frieza. It was Yamcha. True. I agree with that. And the thing is, like, I, I like how uh, when it comes to 
you know what I'm saying? Is this that the Wolfgang fist is a hand to hand um, technique and martial art? But the thing is, is this that we only see anymore now that certain beams and everything are considered names like Big Bang Attack, that's Energy Blast, like Kamehameha, that Masenko, and all them, but yet. They don't actually have nothing when it comes to like a wolf and fist attack that that is like a martial art, but yet has like an image of a wolf attacking you, and that's just the thing I really like. Yes, that move is so fast paced. It's like literally you think a real wolf's coming at you. The claws, the teeth, the eyes, the speed. It's like the wolf is just striking and. A lot of people, you know, they're all about the sci-fi stuff. You know, as you said, Vegeta's move, Big Bang and stuff, and, you know, the, the beams and stuff. But no, like, when it comes to hand-to-hand -to -hand maneuvers, the Wolf Fang Fist is, like, just incredibly fast, no key required, just... I can make class of its own. <laughs> yes. Exactly. Yeah. You know, it's crazy. And, you know, another thing about, you know, my boy Yamcha is, you know, a lot of people, when it comes to Goku, you know, the spirit bomb, you know, I like the spirit bomb, but people have to think, where did it come from? came from Yamcha. He was the first one to come up with the spirit bomb. Yeah, it's a bit different, but come on. like Pretty much, all, really. All... Huh? Pretty much, seriously. The, um... Yeah. I mean, you form a ball in your hands, and you can move it any, like, any direction. Now, this is what separates... Tien's Tribeam and Krillin's Kienzen, or Destructive Disc, however you want to say it. Like, you can move it around. He can juice it up as much as he wants and hit multiple people with it. And his control, I mean, you look in Dragon Ball, you look at some of the movies, you look in the sand arc. Like, I, I wish there was a camera on me so that I can show you, like, the finger movement, because I have been, like, I'm not, like, an expert, but I've been studying the finger movement. It is sweet. I Just know. Just two fingers, like, crazy. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you can move it any direction. And, you know, I kind of about it. It's like, people prefer the spirit bomb over the spirit ball. Like, come on now. No. <laughs> Spirit ball, spirit ball is not compared to the spirit ball. It, I mean, the thing is, said like you said, like the maneuver technique about it, and and how like um you can actually put like more energy into it, and and just like the hand moves, like the where that can like smack around like other like uh, members, uh, other enemies at once. I like that. that that's just incredible. <laughs> So, uh, I, hey, like, um, how about we actually get into, like, some of the uh, different feats that Yancha has actually done? Okay. Now, feats. Now, first and foremost, I want to say this regarding Yancha's feats. So, <clears throat> keep this in mind to any Dragon Ball fans out there. Yamcha's goal was never to be the strongest fighter. Let's just get that out of the way right now. His goal was never to be the strongest fighter. Okay, so for any of you guys who think that he's weak and you, you are dead wrong. All right? So let's go back. Let's go back in Dragon Ball. Yes. I repeat. Yes, I understand he lost fights in Dragon Ball, but you have to think you know, if you're an underdog, it's more likely 
you're going to lose against someone more top tier. I mean, think about it. Like, the many times he competed in the martial art tournaments, you know, he held his own against the best of the best. Like, the 21st tournament, him against Master Roshi, who was Jackie Chun in disguise. Ask yourself this question. How in the world was Yamcha going to beat Master Roshi? You should even, like, can you even imagine how much, like, um, mental focus he would It was like Jackie Chun. I never heard of a fighter by that name, but if he's come this far, he must be good. So you got to think about it. It's like Yamcha, the underdog, who doesn't even know he's going to lose but yet keeps his composure and tries to go at it the best way he can. He actually held his own against Master Roshi. Let's just say and this, like, um... Another thing... Oh, sorry. All right, all right. Um, like, what I was actually saying is that, okay, when it comes to, like, the two times that Yancha ended up actually entering these, like, tournaments and the way he lost, he went up against two Masters. I mean, really, I say this. Uh, first of all, uh, when he wanted to go to Chucky Chun, uh, he, he, uh, which is AKA Master Roshi, um, he actually like um, was like a master at his um, art, you know. And but yeah, he ended up actually still putting up a good fight, but yeah, still ended up losing. The next, like um, he ends up fighting against um, Kami basically in a, in a human's body. But yeah, at the same time, Kami has actually had like more experience in combat than, Ro than even Roshi. So of course that Yamcha is actually going to probably lose, but yet he still actually did. I got to go in there and actually put a, up a good show. Okay. So, you know, like him against Master Roshi and Kami, like... It's just, it's just crazy how, like, he was literally keeping his composure, Yamcha keeping his composure in those fights. And, of course, we can't forget a couple things, you know, in the second tournament, Tien put him out, and Tien was the strongest character at the time. But what a lot of people don't seem to realize is not just the fact that he was able to keep his composure against these guys, but Master Roshi a.k.a. Jackie Chun and Tien, they beat Goku. Like, they flat out beat Goku. And yeah. it's like, you know, you put Yamcha against those that Goku's supposed to win against, or I mean lose against, and you just gotta think. Like, out of those times, like, People will, people say Yamcha's a quote unquote loser, but I don't see how losing against a master, a top tier fighter, and you know, you, knowing that you lost, yet you have a smile on your face afterwards. That's basically a sign of respect and strength. Knowing that he lost his head up, period. That is the kind of underdog Yamcha is. Keeping his head up, even knowing he lost against those he was never going to beat. True. Come on. And, uh, and the thing is, this is that like, um, another time is when uh, Yamcha and Tien end up actually like, saving a village from like, lava, and which I think that was actually incredible because like, um, the way that Yamcha and Tien actually work, uh, combined and work together to actually stop the lava flow from happening in order to stop them from killing other people, uh, which is incredible. And another time is that when Yamcha and um, Yamcha end up fighting against that tambourine guy, which um, has actually killed Krillin, and uh, he fought up against him even though his like um, leg was actually still broken and everything because of Tien 
and he actually ended up um, fighting against him pretty well, uh, even though he had a broken leg and still actually did good. Yeah, another thing that people don't realize. And see, that's another thing about my boy Yamcha, one of his traits that he developed earlier in the series. You know, it was compassion, you know? It's like, that compassion, like, people don't think about this, but my boy Yamcha building up on more compassion has flat out saved everyone's lives. I mean, he saved Bulma's life, Oolong Ampwar, from Goku, you know? He, in his um, Ozaru form. Huh? In his Ozaru form. Yeah, in his Ozaru form. And, you know, he even, and, and this is even in the tournament, but, you know, he was rooting for Goku, just like Bulma and the others, but he was rooting for him in a way where, you know, he was like rooting for a brother of his. You know, he even, he was even worried uh, Jackie Cho was gonna, like, blow him up with the Kamehameha. And he's like, no, Jackie! And you see him and Bulma run up to each other after, you know, uh, Jackie Chum blew that Kamehameha in the moon and stuff. He puts his hand on his shoulder to comfort her. Like, the compassion, again, and hey, another thing that just popped in mind. Bolo was about to get hit by a truck. No Bolo, no future trucks. So True. you should keep that in mind. And as you said, um, let's just say this: the like um, when like um, Goku uh, went into his Ozaru form, like um, Yamcha was the first one to find out Goku's weakness. You know, like, I mean, the, the most cru one of the most yeah. crucial things about the Saiyans is their tail. And like, that if you grab it, that, like, um, they're like, well, weakened and they can't really fight. Uh, Yamcha actually found out that weakness. And um, when he ended up actually, like, uh, when Goku was Ozaru form, and he ended up capturing uh, Bulma. Yamcha ended up like, going up against a huge Azaru form on Goku without even actually learning a like, key yet about learning the Kamehameha or anything. But yet, he has him along with Pilar and I got like, uh, sure. Oolong and I like, um, end up actually having the tail cut off to where that like, uh, Goku ends up returning back to normal. Which I think that uh, shows a lot of courage that Go that uh, Yamcha did actually have facing off against on Ozaru Goku. It, exactly. It, it's like... Let's just say this. Ozaru uh, Goku, which, like, um, at the same time, I know that it was Ozaru like Goku, but yet yeah, there's a scene to where that Piccolo fought against an Ozaru Gohan, and he was struggled against him. And uh, 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 Piccolo is... Like, um, is much stronger than Yamcha is, but yeah, he even struggled against them. Yeah. You know, it's crazy, like, this is one thing that literally saved everyone's butts. Even though Piccolo didn't even exist at that time, like, still saved them and stuff, you know, but just, just the compassion and the courage that he shows, you know, and, and, and that's the thing, like, that's being human, and, you know, I always thought of, like, Yamcha being more of a friend than he was a warrior, and, and he has displayed that time and time again in fights, and even when he's just being himself, you know, and, um, also, you know, another fight that, you know, how can I put it? There was also Invisible Man. Now, Yamcha is a pretty capable fighter, obviously. The intuition, the way of the wolf and stuff. 
he didn't really need help, but, you know, obviously, just, you know, him, like, he was going to win regardless against that, that Invisible Man, but the yeah. mummy, though, the mummy, though, that's when I looked at him and thought, like, you know, he was trying to put his life on the line you know, for Goku and just, you know, for everyone's sake so that, you know, they won't have to die. You know, even if it was, you know, a little bit prideful, the compassion Yamcha has shown is very strong and the courage. And, you know, you fast forward to... Um, you know, uh, DBZ. So we're going to the DBZ now. Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah. So DBZ is when it gets a bit crazy. Now, a lot of people want to make fun of the Cybermen, but I want to say this, and you can add this. You know, mm -hmm. you cannot. Sorry, no Z fighter, no matter how strong they are. You cannot defend a kamikaze. You, you can't. No. Even Piccolo said it himself. Kamikaze. No way to de sure. defend. And I will say this. Uh, when it comes like, to like, uh, what Yon just said, because like, um, Krillin was about to fight against the uh, Cyberman first. Um, but yeah, Yon was like, like no, like, uh, Krillin, you, you've been already dead once. Like, um... And the dragon can't wish you back again. I'll go. So yeah, he actually end up saying it's like you know you know Krillin like no like um I can't I don't want you actually to risk your life like um fighting against these things first. I'll I'll, I'll go. And like, uh, because of that, I think that that actually saved Krillin because Krillin didn't actually even know that that the son of a man actually was like um defeated or not like uh, so. If he did the same thing, then like uh, the Cyberman would have grabbed Krillin and blew him up too. So I guess I'll say this, like um, so just just be in mind that, that wasn't like um the only actually rule of case of what I hold all. Like Yamcha was weak because he got destroyed by Cyberman. Almost anybody who actually lowered their guard at that time would have actually uh, had that happen to them. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Let's we'll just say this, even like uh, no. Tien, if Tien actually uh, wasn't like uh, really back there with um, with the teammates and like um, and he like walked away from like the Cyberman, uh, <laughs> I mean even like um, uh, Chelsea was like, hey Tien, like, like look that, uh, that uh, thing's getting back up and then he actually turned around and actually saw it. But yeah, let's we'll say this. If uh, Tien, if Tien was over by a a Cyberman, that could have happened to him too. So just just saying, like, uh, you guys got to keep that in mind. Yeah, you know, idiots always like Yamcha got you know Yamcha lost to a Cyberman, bro. Like, idiots. That could have happened to anyone. Like, come on now. It's, and 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 that's another thing too. That's another thing. Vegeta. Practically killed Yamcha in that fight. Not the Cyberman, Vegeta. Because he knew they could explode. That's why he said, Not that I like to see, too bad I too bad I won't get the chance. And it's like, dude, come on now. And as we have said, it was out of compassion that Yamcha said, No, Krillin, you take a step back. I got this. You've already been wished before by the Dragon Balls. You know, if anything bad happens to me, I can be brought back, you know? And it, it's like, you know, it wasn't just taking a bullet for him, but it was taking a bullet for the team. Because now, like, you know, knowing that, you know, he got blown up and stuff, it opened up everyone's eyes to be aware that, like, oh, man. Like, I think it explode. And Yamcha, 
he took a bullet for everyone. It's, it's crazy, like. Exactly. Though, uh, exactly. Yeah. I'm, I'm telling and, you, and, like, and, man. When it comes to that, I got that, that's just. <laughs> I, I think as I said, like that's like honorable, really. Like I, I'm not saying I got. Um, as I said, I got uh, Tien did, did like um, the same thing much later by using his his like tribe and he and he sacrificed his life in order to uh, try to destroy Napa. You know that's the exact same yeah. thing. He, like he's like taking it one for the team. So like uh, the same thing just like what Yancho was doing. So uh, I think just a lot of people are just think like oh like um, he, uh, Yancho just. Like um blew up uh, along the side of him. Like, oh, he must have been weak. No, no. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. And you know, I never thought about it like that. Honorable. And you know something? Taking like anyone who's willing to risk your own life. Like anyone who's really sorry. Anyone who's willing to risk their lives just for the sake of a friend. Or friends or family or whatever that requires true sacrificial compassion and there is absolutely nothing wrong with that no we see it with Piccolo and Gohan for crying out loud but Pic yeah, we Piccolo can't did that too yeah talking. exactly I mean like uh, there's like uh, during that time that there's like plenty of times where that everybody uh, and sacrifice themselves actually for the sake of others, because even as like I said, even Chaozu, the weakest member of the group, actually decided to try to sacrifice um, himself in order to save his friend Tien and 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 everybody else by self-destructing. I know I know it didn't work because uh, Napa had maybe way up more of a power level, but yet. Still, I mean, he actually did his best to actually, like, um, defeat the enemy. Yeah, you know, Chaozu, basically, everyone sacrificed. And I think part of that was from Yamcha. Exactly. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. So, I, hope, I hope everybody's listening to this because this is, this is true. <laughs> I mean, this is absolute truth. Like, everyone sacrificed, and part of that had to do with Yamcha. It's no different than, you know, you're, you're trying to, like, you see someone who's trying to set the right example, and that example influences your life. And in return, you do the same thing to somebody else's life, and it goes on and on. So, it's incredible, the trait of sacrifice. Like, come on, do you, do you, keep, do you guys understand why I like Yamcha. Do you understand? And, and we're not even done. We're no. not even done. So no. don't even think about hating on Yamcha after this conversation. Like, <laughs> you know, not, not you using her, but, you know, to all to anyone. Oh, of course listen. not. You know. <laughs> yeah. But let's just say this. Also, like, um, later on, like, um, while he was in the afterlife, um, uh, he ended up actually fighting against, like, the... The, uh, the Ginyu Force, which, let's say this, I'm sorry, but it's canon, because we actually see uh, Yamcha and all of them uh, in the afterlife with them, so don't be saying, like, it's just filler. No, it's canon, all right? Uh, but yet, we actually see the way that Yamcha puts it to Raccoon. Raccoon, the person that will show you doom. <laughs> <laughs> And I gotta say this, and it almost showed Vegeta Doom by actually just almost killing him off if if I uh, Krillin and Gohan didn't end up actually like uh, coming to his rescue. I mean, I just say this, yeah, uh, Raccoon was dominant. He uh, there was like nobody that was able to actually stand up to him. Really, I mean, I got uh, Yamcha. I I mean Krillin. And uh, Gohan fighting against him after Vegeta and just got dominated. And uh, if it weren't for Goku, um, he would got beaten. But uh, he wouldn't. He would have uh, just um, killed them all. 
But yeah, the we have where that Yamcha is uh, is fighting against them and just like whopping them. I mean, he's like kicking around and and punching around like like he's like nothing. And uh, <laughs> the thing is, Raccoon didn't even have no defense against his hands. <laughs> yeah, you know it's funny how I, I know a lot of people are gonna joke around when I say this, but. When it came to the Namek arc, Yamcha, and this goes for Tien and Shao Tzu as well, they have been putting in so much work with King Kai that if they were on Namek, they would probably have been the most useful characters in Namek. Like, seriously. They, even though they weren't at Namek, they, like, beat the Ginyu Force, Yamcha, Tien, and Shoutu beat the Ginyu Force, Yamcha with Raccoon, Tien with Murder and Jace, Shoutu with Guldo. They even teamed up against Piccolo. And, um, <laughs> like, the teamwork was awesome. And you already know Yamcha landed in that blow to the stomach, even surprising Piccolo, uh, and, and, and drop them. Yeah. And drop them. And this is it. My my favorite guy is Piccolo. But yeah, I was actually just shocked. Even like that, he actually dropped him, and it was proof that Piccolo even was like, like you know what? I was like, uh, instead of like, forget this, I'm gonna take my way to Gi off in order to fight you, fight you guys like serious because like um, apparently I wasn't. So he, they actually forced him to to take off his gi in order to fight them seriously. So that that that's, that's got to say something. Yeah, you tell me about it, man. Even though it took teamwork, you gotta be kidding me. Come on, like anyone who watches that can't say that's weak. And if you still think like that, I'm sorry. Fool, you need to rewatch DBC or go to Dragon Ball or whatever you do to understand that what you have seen was not weak. I oh, know okay. the thing is, like, a lot of people actually was like wanting the that like, like um actually I like, just laughing on this part of of when Go when uh, Yamcha entered into the the gravity chamber and everything and and turned it up to a three hundred times normal gravity. Let's just say this. Okay. Let's just say this. Yamcha at 300 times normal gravity starting off. Let's just say this. When when Goku was going towards like uh, Namek, he started off at 20 times gravity and could barely even move then. You know, and then training up um, uh, from there to 100. But yet there's like times where that Goku couldn't even move at all. Even with um, all the all like um, with the less much less gravity than Yamcha, but yeah, Yamcha, but yeah, he's a Saiyan, and um, Yamcha is a human, and he is able to uh, stand up for like a few uh, moments um, in three hundred times normal gravity before he ended up dropping, but yet still had enough power and strength. In order to climb over to the machine, get up on it, and then press uh, turn it off. Let's just say this: if Yamcha started like a little small, then worked his way up, he would have been more incredibly more powerful than he truly uh, he is now. Yeah, and I also want to add this as well. Um, I, now I understand that you know. It was a dumb move for my boy Yamcha to have done that. It was. But his mindset, though, think about this. Think about the words he said. Whatever Vegeta can take, I can take too. Now, he was trying. Now, I, I remember earlier in the episode, you know, that Vegeta, he thinks he's so tough that he can handle 300 times grab. I'll show him that he's not half as tough as he pretends to be. I'll show him that I can be just as tough as he is. Now, 
he was trying to like you know catch up to not 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 necessarily catch up to Vegeta but to prove to Vegeta I'm dominant to Vegeta so don't underestimate me and earlier there's another reason why he was trying to protect Bulma so just the drive that he had to even think about going in there and coming out of it he came like afterwards I know it hurt but obviously you know the saying whatever doesn't kill you makes you stronger well he was stronger and it worked somehow it worked you know we'll we'll get to the cell arc in a sec but like as you say Goku can handle 20 and you know kind of jumping a bit Kid Trunks he did 150 in his normal form but mastered it when he um was a super saiyan like barely doing 150 but yet he, when he's super saiyan he can jump around and move around as if he was in a trample leaders like Yamcha 300 times gravity that's not an embarrassment people that takes insane risk seriously I'm telling you <laughs> Yamcha is not weakly at all, by far. You know, he, he does have incredible power. Yeah. Thank you for saying this. Like, uh, let's let's get into like the the whole cell arc now. <laughs> cell arc. Oh boy. Well, let me say it like this. Um, I want to start off by saying that um how can I put it Yamcha you know android slash cell arc even though we haven't seen him a lot he has been of tremendous help because you know after the three year time gap we see him where, you know, apparently it's the end of the relationship between him and Bulma. He had to take a, you know, take it like a man. We'll get to that a bit later. But, you know, searching for the androids. People should understand this, okay? They're, like, first and foremost, 19, mistake. He mistook Yamcha as Goku. So that, that's, that's a funny thing. And another thing is... So... Yamcha was caught by Jiro in 19. And... You know... Yeah, he's afraid. But... He doesn't run away. Again... Putting his life on the line. For his friends... And for the people in the city. He does not run away... Okay, he actually tries. He gets nearly killed for it. And he gets, you know, um, he comes back, eats the sentu bean, witnesses the destruction, and he's just in, in utter distraught. Now, I just want to talk on the fear for a second. Um, now, you know, Yamcha, him, him going against the top tier guys and him doing his best in fights, but he ends up sacrificing himself. You know, it's like, that does something to you. It really does. It, it's like, the higher the threat, the more fearful it gets. And, you know, him. Be, there's nothing wrong with being afraid. It's totally human. But yet, he, unlike Krillin, actually tries to conquer it. And so, you know, him with the androids knowing what just happened, he's like, you know, I won't know what happened to me, happened to anyone else. I gotta go there and save others. And he just took, he just takes off flying over there. And, you know, he tells Piccolo, Gohan and others, that, you know, they can drain energy, practically saving everyone's life, Goku included. And uh, with the whole heart virus thing, he decides to take Goku home. Now, anyone could have taken Goku home, but Yamcha being the one to do that 
makes the situation more better because you know um he already told them the information he already had a taste of what the androids offered since he got punched the hole right through him through him and he decides to take goku home and practically save the dude's life with the whole antidote and stuff so even though we haven't seen him like all around a lot him saving goku and friends and cheering for them in the battlefields like come on seriously really i'm saying that yamcha isn't is great man the guy said like uh yet again he is a like take him over a team and i go <laughs> and and decided to actually to uh, overcome his fear and go out there and actually t uh, explain to them like that what these androids um are you know and what they can do you know like uh, that's exactly the same thing um what he did for everybody back then in dragon ball about the tail incident you know and that, 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 and let's just say this, because of him, if Goku didn't let go, they would have killed, they would have killed Raditz without, um, uh, without having to really sacrifice Goku, uh, the way he, uh, would have died its first time. You know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and just say this, during, like, the whole, like, uh, time when Cell was fighting against, like, um, like Gohan and like, um, or so, um, and he ended up actually creating those Cell Juniors. And when he was like fighting against like um, the Cell Juniors, yeah, um, he actually did get beat up a little bit, but yet he did get his few shots in too. Especially one thing is that him and Tien end up saving Goku. They end up actually like uh, grabbing the. So Junior by the arm and then like knee him in the in the stomach and like knocking him away. He actually like and um, got, gets in front uh, him and Tien get in front of Goku and try to protect him. That is awesome. That is true friendship and that's like much courage to take on members like uh, people that are ten times stronger than you, but yet. Um, you, uh, you're actually willing to sacrifice your life for a friend. Tell me about it, man. Like, you know, and, and of course, just to add with TN, you know, TN, again, taking one for the team, you know, by sacrificing his life with the tri-beam, and it, he does it again. And it, I'm not saying, like, you know, I'm not trying to, like, compare, you know, who's a better friend between Tien and Yamcha because they're both true friends. But with Yamcha, I look at him a bit different because I, I, I honestly do think that he has risked his life for everyone more than even Tien and Krillin and probably even Goku. And it's like, you know... Knowing that the Cell games, like, you know, he had, like, what, nine to ten days to train. Like, knowing he wasn't going to be of much use, yet he still decides, you know, I got to be ready to fight Cell. You know, it's better to train than to just stand around and do nothing. And as you said, him and Tien being bros, being true friends to Goku, ending up saving him. And, you know, within that fight, I, you know, Yamcha, he was cooperating with Piccolo and stuff. Like, good chemistry right there. And, you know, Yamcha, you know, a lot of people, they, they look at him. But I know there's a meme out of this, apparently, where he threw in that punch and it got broken. But it's like, you know, people don't, people don't seem to understand. Yamcha was literally the only human who outlasted Tien and Krillin. And when he threw in the punch, yeah, it was over for him, but yet he still tried to fight with one freaking arm. Are you kidding me? Like, that, 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 don't you that, that, that's boss, sacrifice man. himself enough? 
That's true. That's true. Let's just say this. Also, I got one, uh, one more I see great feed that he actually did is just that when Yancha and um, um, when I got Gohan and Cell was having that strain power struggle and everything with the Kamehameha's, I got um, him, him and uh, Tien, I started off first. I was like saying, you know what? Um, oh, besides like Piccolo. But Tien was like, yeah, you know what? I'm gonna uh, step, uh, step in and help too. And then like, uh, he's, and, like uh, Yamcha was like, you know what? I'm there with you, man. I was like, I I'm, he I'm here to fight. You know, and he they ended up actually going and trying to help out uh, <laughs> others. And I got the thing is, Krillin was like, I was like worried to do that, but yet he said he even did it too. Just to say this, um, they're like shooting their beams and trying to overcome like um, uh, like cell and just say like this and and yeah um and like Yosho, um, was like along there with them, actually like trying to uh, power up to try to actually fight against cell to try to throw him off. Just to say this. Like, uh, Cell ended up like, knocking him away with his energy, but yeah, guess what? Yamcha got back up and just still fired and uh, just like everyone else. So yeah, he, he's, he's like, you know what? I'm not going to give up. I'm not going to quit. Yep. You know, just... You, you see, this is one of the reasons why I love Dragon Ball Z. Seeing true friends risk their lives for Goku even knowing the whole earth is endangered, it's about the blow. They, they don't care. They're going to give it their all. And, you know, Yamcha, again, like, him putting himself at risk. And, you know, I, I even remember the speeches. Now, in the Funimation dub, when, during the beam struggle, he's like, you know, Goku. I hope you know what great of a kid you've got. Like father, like son, right? Well, I won't let you down. And in Kai, Kai, I mean, I love them both, but in Kai, he, hey, buddy, that kid of yours is pretty incredible. Every bit is father's son, and I really mean that. But I'm going all out, doing right by him. Both of them are powerful, going all out for Goku and Gohan. Like, even his own son, like, Come on, it's like it, it's <laughs> it's crazy. Like, just I don't even know. My words cannot describe it at all. And I also want to add this. You know, um, when Future Trunks got killed, have you noticed how fast my boy Yamcha rushed to his aid, like hanging their trunks? Now, I get it. Like, Vegeta, afterwards, yeah, he went out and blasted Cell, but Yamcha, in many ways, has shown to be somewhat, I guess, more of a father figure than Vegeta. More of a father figure than him, if you think about it. You know, rushing to his aid, carrying his body with Tien. I mean, like... Really, Vegeta? Come on, man. Yamcha's a better figure than you. And afterwards, he told Trunks, you know, the truth. Like, Vegeta, he fought for you, man. You know? It's like... I look at that and I say, while I agree Vegeta, you know, did that blast for you, Trunks, like, like, like even though he did that blast for you, you know, I still think of Yamcha as... Dude, you rushed to his aid when he was the first one. Like, you rushed to his aid when he was killed immediately. Like, <laughs> it's, it's, it just makes me think, Yamcha, who are you, man? Like, how awesome are you? Seriously. But, I go, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and we're going to be um, <laughs> in this site. Uh, so, I hope that... You all actually enjoyed this, and and hope you guys have a more open mind about how awesome Yamcha truly is. Seriously, guys, 
Yamcha for the win, man. Wolfang fist, everything. <laughs> Wolfang fist. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>